guys, it's Tori. So today I am doing a massive, massive makeup haul. Um, I've been spending so much money on makeup, it's ridiculous, but I've also been working my butt off. So I have a ton of products laid out here. Most of them are from Ulta and Sephora, but then I've made a couple of purchases from just other brands. Um, this is gonna be super random all over the place but i'm so excited make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face and let's get started okay, let's start with my current obsession so i've been obsessed with the pretty fresh foundation from colourpop it's amazing it's what i'm wearing today i've been wearing it for like two weeks straight now i think it's like the reason i've been doing my makeup every single day my base looks amazing it's so nice on the skin it doesn't rub off good wear perfect color for me like it matches my skin basically perfectly i have this shade fair 20n and it's so good i completely recommend this next i have the Too faced born this way concealer i got it in the shade cloud i have this concealer already but it's way too dark so i got a new shade next i haven't tried this yet if you guys remember i bought this about a year and a half ish ago and it was completely the wrong shade um i was using it in a first impressions i believe but it doesn't fit me at all so i got a new one of the juvia's place foundation um i have the shade bali 720 i hope that this is a better shade match i bought it because of making tutorials and i'm nervous to try it because it's super full coverage and i don't like super super full coverage next i have the smashbox photo finish primerizer it looks like this i've heard amazing things about this and so i finally got it um i've used it a couple times i think it's really good i don't think it's like life-changing but i definitely think it's a really good primer and of course i have a ton of primers in this haul i've bought so many primers this year Next is my last foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I also used this in the first impressions last summer. I have the shade 100N. Um, the shade I already have of this is I think like 120 or 140 or something like that. And it's my summer shade or my self tan shade. So I got one for like my regular skin tone. It looks pretty spot on. It might be slightly dark, but I feel like if I wore like a hoodie or a turtleneck or something it would work perfectly fine next i have the benefit bad gal bang mascara this is my new ride or die i'm obsessed with this it's so good um it's not flaky it's super black i totally totally recommend this i have two more concealers here i have the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer i used this today for i think the first or second time it's really good it's not too full coverage um i just think it's really good i don't know i got it in the shade eggshell 325 it's a pretty good shade match i really enjoy it i like it i think it's worth it and then the last concealer i have is the morphe concealer and this is in the shade c 1.25 i got this because jacqueline hill loves it and it's a drugstore so it's inexpensive i just thought i would give this a go i think i've used it a couple of times i don't remember if i really enjoy it or not but yeah i don't know i have the nyx angel veil vale primer everybody used to rave about this primer um i got it i've been using it i use it today actually i do enjoy it i think it's really nice on the skin i think it looks really pretty nothing life-changing once again but it is a good primer if you're looking for something from the drugstore or you enjoy nyx i definitely would recommend trying this the next primer i got because of believe it was rachel kane too i love her everybody knows that my boyfriend thinks that i look a lot like her and i'm just like she's stunning so but i got the um urban decay all nighter ultra glow ultra glow face primer um i really do like this i think it's super nice it is super hydrating and it makes your skin look super smooth so i totally think that this is worth the money the packaging is beautiful 
I just really enjoyed this one. The next primer I have is the Professional Hydrate Primer. My boyfriend picked this out for me and he wanted me to try it, so of course I bought it. And um, I think it's really good actually. It's like a liquidy consistency, which I like. I have really dry skin. My nose has been super, super dry lately. So I got this hoping it would just add the hydration that I always like and I definitely do like this. Very last primer I have is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer. Looks like this. I got the mini of it. Once again, Rachel Kintu recommended this. She also recommended this Cover Effects Hydrating one, which I haven't gotten my hands on because I want to get a mini of it and I don't think they sell the mini at Ulta. So I picked this up from Sephora, I believe and I do really like it. I think it's super nice. It's really pretty on the skin. Okay, so now I have a bunch of skincare items. Um, I kind of went ham on the skincare and I'm not even mad about it. So the first thing I picked up from Ulta for skincare was the makeup remover wipes. These are for sensitive skin. I think that these are super, super nice. This is my second pack. I'm almost through my first pack. They had like a two pack for like five dollars or something like that and they have 25 towels per container so it was like a steal i honestly love these i think these might be my new favorite face wipes they don't irritate my eyes one wipe it gets almost all my makeup off and then i just go in with like a little cotton round with some makeup remover wipe my face and then i have no makeup residue left so these are totally worth it i think they're so good Next, I have a bunch of the Ordinary products. I got the Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. I use this every single night. I use this after I wet my face and use um, my micellar water, which is like my makeup remover. And then I put this on afterwards just to kind of tone the skin, get any leftover bacteria or makeup or anything on the skin and i just think it's really really nice i really like it okay so i have three more things from the ordinary i almost said curology but that's because i just got my curology shipment in yesterday i have the ordinary hydraulic acid two percent plus b5 um i haven't used this a whole lot i'm not exactly honestly sure what it does but i got it from Malta because everybody's obsessed with the ordinary the next thing i got is the ordinary peeling solution the blood looking one i put this on my boyfriend and he literally said it burned so bad so i'm like afraid to use it but i have it for whenever i get the balls to try it the last ordinary product i have is the niacinamide 10% and plus zinc one. I don't really know how you say it, but it's like the long N word or whatever. Um, this is so good. I use this every single night. Well, not every single night. I try and use it like three or four times a week. I don't want to overuse it because I know it's not good for your skin to use serums like this too often, but I use this a couple of times a week and it's made such a difference. I used it last night and I was having a bit of a breakout and it was basically gone this morning, so it works wonders. The last few skincare things I have. I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I got this in a little set with the watermelon sleeping mask. I'm so excited to try this. This stuff smells amazing, but it just came in like a little kit from Sephora. Um, it was super inexpensive. It was like $30 or something and this is 2.53 ounces. So it's like, it's a good size because I don't even think this is the full size and I think it's a lot for like a deluxe sample or whatever. This is 0.68 fluid ounces so it's really small but I don't think this is something I would use super often anyways but I'm super excited to try it and like I said it smells so good. So I totally recommend both of those. The last skincare item, it's not really skincare, but like the brand is skincare mostly. I got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I got the mini of it because I want to make sure I like it before I spend like $50. Sorry if you just heard my dog, she's being goofy. She just gave me the death stare for calling her goofy. 
But I got the mini, which is 0.4 fluid ounces. Um, it's super pretty packaging. This was $20. And I don't even mind spending the $20 on it, honestly, because it's such a high-end brand and I've heard so many good things about it that I didn't mind paying the $20. I was fine with that price point. I think it's a fair price point. I'm dropping things. Oops. The last two non eyeshadow palette items I have because let me tell you I think I have like 10 eyeshadow palettes and I have one more coming in the mail which is the Hocus Pocus palette. I have this Kylighter in Princess Please. Um, I love the Kylie face products they're super super good looks like this it's just like a pink shade it's really beautiful on the skin and then the last highlighter i have is the dior this is my first dior product and it's beautiful but this is the backstage glow face palette in 002 glitz so the packaging looks like this it's stunning um this is what the highlighters themselves look like this is a 45 dollar palette and then this is an eyeshadow palette. It's smaller than the mini eyeshadow palette. So it's very small, but I also know for a fact, I would never go through one of these highlighters anyways. And it is Dior, so it's super high end and it's beautiful. So I'm not mad at the price. I wish it was a little bit bigger because it literally is like the size of my palm. It's very small, but I really do enjoy this. It's beautiful. Now, let's get into my favorite part, which is eyeshadow palettes. I've been addicted to buying eyeshadow. It's ridiculous, but I'm not mad at it. I love these palettes. I've used, okay, I've only used like three of them, but it's fine. So the first one, which is my newest one, is the Huda Beauty Nude Rich Palette. I have never bought anything from Huda Beauty before besides this. And I'm considering buying the Desert Dusk palette. But besides the point, I got it in the darkest shade just because I liked the colors of it the most. I know that this is gravitated towards makeup lovers with a deep or deep dark skin tone. But I personally just like this one the most. Um, I hope I don't offend anyone with buying this because I know I'm extremely fair, but I just really thought the colors were beautiful and I used this yesterday for the first time and it's so pigmented and so amazing, which is why I think I might buy the Desert Dusk palette because I've always wanted that palette. I had a dupe for it like three years ago, I think, and it was good, but I just, I don't know, it wasn't great, but this formula is amazing, so... I think it's worth the $29. I'd buy more of their mini palettes, honestly. I'm not a mini palette person. I like big eyeshadow palettes just because I like to have a variety. But I think it's honestly really worth it and really good. Next, I have these two TikTok famous palettes. Um, They're stunning, like absolutely stunning. They're $15 a piece. I haven't tried them yet, but I think that they're going to work wonders. This is the inside of the Girl Scout palette. These are by Cara or Cara Beauty. I'm not exactly sure how you say it, but I got them for $15 a piece. So it was super inexpensive and it's literally beautiful. I love the packaging. It's just everything I could have imagined and more. And then I also got the Purple Haze one, which is also just stunning. My best friend is obsessed with this one. The shimmers are just insane and I love it. I can't wait to try it out. I think they're gonna work so, so nicely and I'm just really happy with that purchase. Next, I have two Kylie palettes. These were on sale for like $15 a piece or something, which is why I bought them. But I bought the burgundy palette which looks like this it's really pretty just super fall-esque i thought it'd be really really good for travel around this time of year and i love warm tones and then i also got the blue honey palette which is also super pretty also i think really good for fall time it looks like this the shimmers are really nice and i like her matte formula so 
they were just a few little things I picked up because they were on sale. The next palette I got, my boyfriend basically convinced me to buy this and I'm not mad about it. This is the Marielle, Marielle, I'm not exactly sure how you say her name, but it's a Too Faced collaboration and it reminds me a lot of the Modern Renaissance palette, but like, I don't know, different. You know what I mean? Like this shade, which is Donut, it's insane. It's absolutely beautiful. And I like, I like the pop of pink in the little orange. I just think that this is a really good palette for this time of year. Perfect for fall. Absolutely stunning. Then I got the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette. This is also my first product from Zoeva. This was also on sale for like super inexpensive, which is why I bought it. But I just think it's really pretty and I can't wait to play with this. I remember when this palette was like all anybody could talk about. So I thought I would give it a try. I have two Juvia's Place palettes. I have the Warrior, the Warrior 3 and the Zulu palette. So the Warrior 3 palette packaging is stunning. I'm obsessed with it. And then this is the inside. This is what the colors look like. These are on sale. I think they were like two for 20 or something like that. Um, all of these palettes I've showed so far, except for the Cara Beauty and the Huda one, all came from Ulta. They have sales all the time. And then this is what the Zulu palette looks like. It's also super, super pretty, and I can't wait to play with it. I have three more things, and then we're done, but I'm gonna save the best two for last. So I bought the Friends X Revolution palette, not because I think that this palette is remotely pretty at all, but because I'm such a huge Friends fan. I actually bought Friends pajama pants like two days ago, me and my boyfriend got matching ones, and they're so cute. But I just like the packaging of it, and I just wanted it because I love Friends. I also bought the Joey and Monica gloss, but I forgot to put those out. It looks like this. I think it's pretty underwhelming, but I also understand the fact that the show is based in the 90s, and 90s makeup is supernatural. It's not anything crazy, so I do understand why it's so minimalistic. Next, I have... This is like my baby. The Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. You guys know I have the second one and I use it constantly. It's just such a good palette, but I just had to get the third one. The packaging is amazing. I love how big it is. I love big palettes. And this is just like, it was worth spending $20 on shipping. It was. It looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful like how i just don't get how it's this stunning like the colors are amazing it's totally different from the second one um these colors are way more bright and this focuses a lot more on greens and purples i feel like this one is more of a i don't know the other one is good for like a makeup artist but i think this one is I don't know it's just different i promise it's different but it's stunning i love it i'm obsessed i think it's amazing and then the very last thing i have to show you guys my boyfriend bought for me he got me the p louise worldy palette i couldn't stop talking about this and he was like okay i'm just gonna buy it for you like i'll just buy it for you so he gave me the money for this and then i bought the base on my own so this palette is stunning. Um, this little like sticker thing right here, my mom accidentally like ripped it off. So it's like barely on there anymore. But let me just show you guys how amazing the inside of this is. I'm gonna try not to blend you, but it looks like this. It's so beautiful, you can see my setup. But the palette itself is stunning. Like it's stunning how could you not love that i love the blues i've played with the blues and the greens already it's beautiful the packaging is amazing like there's this pink sand in it that just moves around and it it's just so beautiful and i'm so grateful that i have it but that is everything i've bought in recently at least everything i can remember there's probably a few like lip products or something in there that i just forgot about I don't really know. This is a lot of stuff. I used all of my own hard-earned money, 
um i do have a job i work a lot so i don't know i've also had a lot of um personal things going on and so for me i just like to spend money to help me cope give me something to look forward to it helps make me happy but yeah that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching i love you all so very much and i'm glad to be filming make sure you like comment and subscribe to my face and i will see you guys next time bye guys